Hi, YouTube, and thank you to my subscribers for the continued support. Here I am at the Smithsonian Mag. Um, opening strange portals in physics. Physicist Lisa Randall explores the mind-stretching realms that new experiments soon may expose. And this is from December of 2011, but I was just kind of poking around the other night and found it. Um, in her new book, Knocking on Heaven's Door, Harvard University theorist Lisa Randall explores how physics may transform our understanding of the fundamental nature of the world. She thinks an extra dimension may exist close to our familiar reality, hidden except for a bizarre sapping of the strength of gravity as we see it. She also ponders the makeup of dark matter unseen particles that have shaped the growth of the entire cosmos. These ideas, once the sole province of fiction writers, face real tests in a new generation of experiments. Sensitive detectors now sniff for dark matter while the most complex scientific machine ever created, the LHC, beneath the border of Switzerland and France, smashes subatomic particles into one another at almost the speed of light. So I'm not saying I agree with the whole gravity thing they just said, but it's funny now, right? How apparently extra dimensions really aren't conspiracy and haven't been since at least 2011. But this is what I wanted to point out about this article. I'll put it below if you want to check out the whole thing. But this is what I find really interesting right here. This extra dimension could be separated from ours by a million trillion trillionth of a centimeter. Is this a parallel yet inaccessible universe? She says, it interacts with our dimensions only via gravity, and gravity is extremely weak. An elementary particle at ordinary energies exerts negligible, excuse me, negligible gravitational force. But at the LHC, if this idea is right, we would see evidence of this extra dimension. Particles could carry momentum into the extra dimension, and that could actually be observable. So then they ask, but it's not something you think of as a parallel universe? She says, technically, yes. It could exist parallel to our universe, but it's not just a carbon copy of our universe, which a lot of people think when they hear that phrase. It's because it's a reflection. That's what I think. But I just thought this was interesting because a couple months ago, this is what I was kind of talking about in this video I made here. When they talk about space, I think they are talking about the space in between the dimensions. Now, I don't know if it really is a million, trillion, trillionth of a centimeter um, separating us. I don't know about that, but what I'm saying is that I to tell you what, this article is kind of backing up that theory. That's kind of what I, I, I don't know though, but that's just, that was my theory in this video. When they talk about space, they're talking about the space, the distance in between these dimensions that we're in. So that are all around us, all happening at the same time. I just thought that was pretty neat. All right, put the link below. Uh, thanks to everybody for watching. Thanks again to my subscribers.